Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. This is my most important question I get time to time, and I'm actually currently filming for a personal brand journey app. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Jade. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We are going to talk about how to pick a niche, how to narrow down a niche. My top questions on a niche, and like you guys don't know what niche is, and it sounds like I don't even know what it sounds like to you, but for me, it's what are you narrow downing on? What are you narrowing down on to make you stand out so you grow faster and it's more efficient rather than just like hoping for the best, right? We want a strategy. Picking and narrow downing, narrow, oh my God, narrow downing, narrowing down a niche is crucial. This is more of an off the cuff video. If you guys want to come along with me, this is where we're setting up today, shooting for the app. It's crazy and I thought this just came up in my head so I have to share, super off the cuff. One, top question is, what are the types of niches? This is what I think, guys. It's super, super simple. It goes like this. You have your industry, plus are you either a motivational, educational, or entertainment piece of content? What's your industry? Beauty, fashion, hair, cooking, uh, for sports, football. You gotta pick your industry, pick your you know, underwater scuba diving. That's your industry. Then you say whether you're motivational, educational, or entertainment. I feel like that's just a good formula for beginners to understand what your niche is. You can't just be beauty. You gotta be beauty, entertainment, beauty, educational. A lot of you guys can actually mix the three little parts. I call it meh, M-E-E, -E, right? So you guys can use what you want and pull what you use, but that's what my formula is whenever I think about what's your niche. Second question I get is, Jade, how do you narrow down your niche? Now, when you narrow down, I just think of it like, demographic, right? It's not that hard. You can narrow down it between maybe by being more specific, but the easiest way is to really think about demographic and who your audience is. So I would say, say you're trying to target more slimmer people, maybe you're not hitting the wall. Because basically guys, when you are a social media influencer, I'm trying to find an object I can throw. When you're a social media influencer, you're basically trying to do that. You're trying to hit the wall and see if you stick. Same with music industry. Like you're trying to see if you can stick with the market. So to see how you can stick, it's simple, demographic, and your number one word. If you try to narrow down, narrow down between like 20 to 25 year olds in Nebraska who like soccer and they like entertaining content. Do you see what I'm saying? So you would narrow down by the age, by the gender. You would narrow down by demographic. That's what narrow down your niche means. It's just being more slim with who is able to, I guess, consume content. You won't be excluding anyone. You'll just be targeting certain people. Keep that in mind. Now the next question I get, guys, is your, um, you know, widening and out. Oh, what do you do if you want to grow outside a niche? Maybe you've grown out of one and people are hecka bored. You guys can guess. You just grow outside your freaking demographic. You enlarge from 20 to 25. You do 15 to 30 year olds that like Pokemon Go because you're making gaming content on Twitch. Like it doesn't really have to be rocket science. It could just be widening it. You don't have to jump between too many industries because you get you get people confused. The number one thing I see people do is they want to do so many things, which leads to my fourth thing, which is what do you do if you're passionate about multiple things? Guys, listen to me. I'm not saying like exclude one, stop doing one. It's just about focus. If you're focusing on one industry at a time, you won't make the audience confused. The number one thing I see is the audience doesn't know what type of content they make because I'm also loving multiple passions, but I focus on Instagram because I know that's gonna help my growth and you guys more, so you're not gonna be confused. It's about like, not overwhelming the consumer. The way you do that is one at a time. Man, I need to breathe. <laughs> The way you do that is one at a time. So I'm not saying don't do one thing, don't do the beauty industry and do soccer. Just one at a time. One year you do booty, booty. One year you do booty, next year you do ass, and then next year you do legs. And then you just move it. The audience can grow with you. Just don't make them confused. Because when you pick a niche, you actually want to stand out, not confuse the shit out of them, which a lot of you guys do. And if you're into photography, same thing. If your clientele are models, make it more slim. If you're already grown out of it, most of you guys haven't even grown out of your niche. You haven't even started. Then you can move on to the next one, which is plant photography, right? This is what I'm saying. Whether you're a creator or model, it doesn't matter. This is what I use to narrow down my niche. I hope this was helpful. I have an asthma problem just because I'm super excited and I just wrapped up filming. This app is going to be awesome and I'm just so excited just to share this content and I will give you guys more previews soon. 
If you guys didn't know, I'm in Seattle shooting this secret, secret content, but uh, I'll see you guys with you soon. So give this video a like and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. You wanna be the next comment winner? Comment below what you wanna see next. And thank you so much for these questions and love. Subscribe to the Darm Nation. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.